So are we starting to see the recovery of this company called Comfort Delgo, right? One of the taxi providers in Singapore you know, that was also badly hit when the pandemic kind of accelerated somewhere in you know February and January this year, and it was kind of like trading sideways over the past few months. But you know what happens was over the past few weeks when you know there were talks about vaccine being found, you know, rolling out probably in the, the coming months or maybe next year, that's where we see a lot of uh, strength coming back, right, in many of those companies that were hit um, during the pandemic, like you know, SI. Genting and even this company called Comfort Dell Grow. Alright, so there were some upside targets that were drawn just this morning, right away here, because we kind of like broke one of those key resistance level at about one dollar and seventy cents. So one seventy was a really critical resistance. In fact, we've been holding below since March. Alright, and it seems like just this morning, about like ten a.m., we'll come. You know, breaking this 170 kind of like went to 171 all right and there were some upside targets that were drawn to about 190 right so let me just take a look at you know comfort delgo right now as it's trading uh, live to see where we are and you know could this target be on track and could we even hit higher right if i mean could we potentially break above this 190 to hit even higher and see the reversal for this company continuing to happen so this is comfort delgo right here trading at about one dollar and 77 cents so when we first spotted it this morning was about about one dollar and seventy one cents it kind of push up higher by another six cents and yeah it seems like buyers are trying to to attempt and push it above this key resistance so i mentioned you know this really key resistance at 170 you know since march we have been consolidating from like 170 to 130 it's like a 40 cents range up down up down and it was you know consolidating you see that in terms of the moving averages in the short term this green line all right and even the red line the 100 days and 20 days moving average they're kind of like flattening out so it was like pretty much pointing down just before uh, the pandemic we were somewhere around 230 all right we kind of broke down that 230 support and went all the way to like 130 so 230 to 130 in like you know two to three months right due to the pandemic all right and we kind of found a bit of support at 130 and more importantly as i mentioned there were some signs of a reversal especially when you know we see the 20 days moving average you know cross over all right above the 100 days moving average and both of these um you know moving averages are like you know kind of flattening out and even pointing up right now okay so we kind of broke this 170 um, this morning as I mentioned when we draw some targets let me just reiterate the targets again probably to about one dollar and ninety cents so 180 we are seeing a bit of profit taking it seems like sellers are coming out to take some profit which is normal I mean the fact that we have gone from like 150 to like about 180 all right in just about two weeks so uh, sellers might want to take some profit but I think if that 180 were to give way we might potentially hit towards the one 90 right and why 190 look at this 190 was the support we have seen right since like you know 2018 even before the pandemic look at this right over here so we kind of rebounded from there and we broke that 190 of course we broke 230 and we broke 190 and we started to trade all the way down all right so right now it seems like we're heading towards this new um you know support turn resistance level at about 190 so 190 that's where i would say some selling might come back it seems like you know we are still seeing a bit of strength coming into many of these counters that were badly hit right during the pandemic and it seems like there are a lot of fun shifting into these counters because you know there are talks about a vaccine being found and eventually you know things will get better and so people are buying to all the hopes that um, eventually you know all these companies will start to recover and there's a lot of hype and a lot of funds going into you know companies like this right now okay so this is comfort delgro all right 190 would be a bit of a key resistance level just to take note we might see a bit of selling but let's just say we can't break that 190 where could we potentially head to next let me just go ahead to draw some um horizontal resistance line right over here i would say this would be the next resistance level look at this right over here so after that would be about two dollars and ten cents right two dollars and ten cents was a bit of a support somewhere we've seen since like 2018 all right more than two years right more than two years we were actually holding um just above that 210 of course we broke down somewhere in february when the um, crisis started to happen all right and yeah so we might potentially head towards that two dollars and ten cents as well all right if that um 190 would give way all right of course we do see strength coming in the market as you talks about an investing again yeah these these companies will most likely see a bit of short-term strength all right but in terms of the longer term you can see that this um 200 days moving average is still sloping downwards i mean it kind of like you know it's like it might start to flatten out a bit hopefully if we do see um it holding above some of those new support like the 170 now or right, we might eventually see the blue line starting to flatten out and eventually pointing up so that's a good sign that uh you know in terms of the longer term we might also potentially change from a downtrend to a bit of sideways and maybe hopefully upwards but in, this, in terms of the short term right now 
we are looking quite strong right the fact that we kind of broke that 170 um, resistance um, critical resistance level that we have been kept below since like March so it's like about you know seven months below and now we are pretty much back to the pre um, pre March prices right just above that 170 okay so this is comfort down grow right one of the counters that we're seeing strength in we had some um, no upside targets that were drawn all right and it seems like we might potentially hit even higher so you want to make sure you protect your profits if you start to push up you know raise your stop loss to write the profits and so you no know, it's nothing wrong to take profits at some of those key um, resistance level like i mentioned near the 119 and the two dollar ten cent that's where some profit taking can happen again okay so yes this is comfort delgro as of the 24th of November is 5.01 p.m. The market is going to close. So we shall see how it plays out tomorrow on the um, Wednesday, 25th of November. You know, if we do you know, break that 180, I think it looks quite interesting. We might even see more upside. Okay. So yes, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed so that you will not miss any videos like this. Right. So thank you so much for watching. Joey here. Take care.